Phylum Tenophora. Tenophores or comb jellies. The phylum Tenophora, commonly known as comb jellies, is a relatively small group of about 200 species of free-living aquatic invertebrates. These fascinating creatures are exclusively marine and can be found in oceans worldwide, from surface waters to the deep sea, with most species thriving in warm regions. While some tenophores are benthic, creeping, or sessile, the majority are solitary and free-swimming, gracefully drifting and swimming through the water. Comb jellies exhibit a remarkable variety of shapes and sizes. Ranging from tiny spherical species no larger than a pea, to elongated, ribbon-like forms, such as the striking Venus's girdle, which can grow up to six feet long. The bodies of comb jellies are primarily composed of water, making them delicate, gelatinous, and almost transparent. Despite their jelly-like appearance, comb jellies are not true jellyfish. Comb jellies are part of their own distinct phylum. While true jellyfish belong to the phylum Nidaria. On their surface, most comb jellies feature eight equally spaced comb rows that run along their bodies. Each comb row consists of plates of fused cilia, which resemble the teeth of a comb and give these creatures their name. The rhythmic beating of these cilia propels comb jellies through the water, with their mouths leading and their anuses trailing behind. An orientation that distinguishes them from true jellyfish. Some can also move by flapping their lobes or undulating their ribbon-like bodies. When light strikes the comb rows, it produces a mesmerizing rainbow effect. Additionally, many comb jellies are bioluminescent, emitting flashes of light, especially at night, further enhancing their beauty and mystique. While some comb jellies have two long tentacles, others lack tentacles entirely. In tentacle-bearing species, these structures are armed with specialized sticky adhesive cells called coloblasts, which are used to capture prey. The tentacles ensnare food and draw it into the mouth. Unlike jellyfish, comb jellies lack stinging cells, nematocysts, with the rare exception of one species that incorporates nematocysts into specific regions of its tentacles. Species without tentacles rely on their mouths to directly capture food. Almost all comb jellies are predators, feeding on plankton, rotifers, small crustaceans, and even other comb jellies, as shown here. You can see the comb jelly it captured and is digesting. Despite their delicate appearance, they play an important role in marine ecosystems. The phylum Tenophora is traditionally divided into two main classes. They include nuda, which includes species without tentacles, and tentaculata, which includes species with tentacles. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.